This new Tekken 8 patch dealt with a lot of issues certain characters had, but let's go over this patch and see for ourselves. Patch 1.01.04, the patch contents. Balance adjustment, moves, behavior, and properties for some characters have been adjusted. See the detailed list of changes in the image below. All right, so now let's get into the characters. While I read about the adjustment, I'll be displaying the move up on screen. You can let me know in the comments down below if I made any mistakes. Alyssa, during destructive form, forward, one plus two. In practice mode, corrected the issue where the frame advantage was not shown accurately. Accurately. Originally, it was displayed plus 8 frames on block, but the correct value is plus 5 frames. So that was a really technical patch. Alyssa players, you got nothing to worry about. Devil Jin. Ooh, we got two here. Both with an arrow pointing down. That is not a good sign. So on this move, they changed the damage distribution from 10.20 to 7.14. That is three points down. Reduced the forward movement of the first hit to shorten its reach. Corrected an issue where the distance between the character and the opponent increased only when also inputting the second hit. That's crazy. So less damage and shorter reach. Dang. During Morning Crow, input 1. Reduce the duration of the attack by 1 frame to make it less likely to hit against sidestepping opponents. Change the damage from 25 to 20. Modify the chip damage on block from 10 to 6. Devil Jin players, I am so sorry. These moves are getting nerfed. To be fair, I'm not a fan of fighting him, so I cannot really sympathize with you. I'm sorry. Moving on to Dragunov, I was so happy to see him on this list because every time I run into him online, I do not want to fight him. This man's got 3 three notes here okay down plus three two the recovery frames have been increased by two frames on guard it's negative six to negative eight on hit it's plus eight to plus six this adjustment was made considering that in specific combos more damage than anticipated could be dealt thank you man was dealing insane damage every time i would fight him for this move the character now turns towards the opponent upon hitting this change makes follow-up attacks more stable when hitting in an off access state the opponent now transitions to a down state six frames earlier all right this next move the distance between the player and the opponent on block has been increased really so it's got more knockback the chip damage during block has been changed from eight to five okay that's not too bad adjustments have been made to address the difficulty encountering a specific combination that was proving more challenging than intended all right all right moving on to our next character jack a he's only got one thing here they fixed an issue where the opponent couldn't perform a backwards ukemi after an aerial hit okay that's not bad jack players you're fine next up we got june and she's got two fixes here for this move they increased the recovery time by five Five frames. Increase the opponent's recovery time when blocked by five frames. Okay. These changes were made to address a situation where unintended follow-up attacks were landing after hitting the opponent with this move as the last hit in an aerial combo, resulting in significantly higher combo damage than intended. I'm gonna say it. Any nerf that we can get for June, I will gladly take because she is another annoying character to fight. Am I just bad? Probably, but still. For this next one, they just changed the reaction upon hit. This adjustment was made considering the unintended follow-up attacks were occurring, allowing for more damage output significantly exceeding expectations. Okay, moving on to our next character, we got Leo with two adjustments here. Increase the recovery time by three frames only when the move is blocked, resulting in a change from a frame advantage of negative seven to negative 10 on block. This adjustment is made to ensure that the intended mind games are in place addressing a situation where the return was significant with relatively low risk. Okay. And then this next one here, reduce the recovery time inflicted on the opponent by three frames only when the move is blocked, resulting in a change of frame advantage from negative nine frames to negative 12 frames on block. Gosh, dang. Okay. Do you guys consider a three frame change significant? Let me know in the chat. Leroy Smith. I cannot believe that they are doing anything with this man. The only thing they should be doing is buffing him. Because from what I've heard, he's just Captain Chip Damage. I haven't really had too much of a problem fighting Leroy's honestly, which I'm kind of surprised, you know, with his status in Tekken 7. Reduce the knockback distance when the attack is blocked, making it easier for the opponent's counterattack to connect. Oh my gosh, Leroy players, I am so sorry. <laughs> Luckily, this is only on one move, but gosh dang, still. Our next character here, we got Lily. The collision detection against the opponent has been extended downwards to make it more difficult to slip under a floating opponent. So I guess when you do the jump move so that you don't go behind the opponent, I don't like fighting Lilies. Raven. Raven is another character I have a love-hate relationship with, but he actually got a buff. Oh my gosh. Crud. The recovery frames after crouching guard against the doppelganger attack have been adjusted to match the standing block, fixing the inconsistency. Is that considered a buff? All right. Raven. Raina. She's got three. Three adjustments. All right. Reduce the knockback distance when the attack is blocked. Remove the crouching status during the first half of the attack animation. Increase the damage hurt box. 
made it possible to defend against it with a reversal move. Okay, what about the second one? Change the reaction when hitting a downed opponent. This modification was made to prevent the possibility of repeatedly hitting Kuma or Panda in a face-up position. She was hitting them in the snoot snoot. I accidentally skipped the first one. Here we go. The issue where transitioning from a running state to win God Step was sometimes not possible has been fixed. Okay, so that wasn't a debuff. That's actually, that's good. Okay. As a fellow Reyna player, I can appreciate it. Moving on to Nina Williams. Nina is something else in this game. I'll tell you what. She's only got one here, adjusted the timing for the opponent to be able to block by two frames when hit from the front and side. Okay. Next up, we got Steve with the during ducking one plus two. I'm actually a huge fan of this move. I call it Machine Gun Kelly. The distance to the opponent upon the first hit has been reduced. This adjustment is made to alleviate cases where combos using this technique did not consistently land consecutive hits on larger characters. Wow. All right. Let's go. Steve getting a buff. You love to see that, I think. He's not the easiest character to fight, so I don't know how to feel about this, actually. <laughs> and finally here, we have Yoshi Mitsu. During Manji Dragonfly, correct an issue where upon transitioning to Muto no Kiwami, hopefully I said that right, the airborne state persisted longer than intended, leading to opponents' punish attacks hitting while still airborne. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be completely honest, because in my personal opinion, Victor is crazy broken. Am I bad at the game? Yes, I will admit that. But bro, am I the only one who thinks this? Like, how did that man not get nerfed? to the ground. Maybe we'll get it in the next patch, I don't know. But also Azucena, she's got some stuff that I'd like to see nerfed, but who knows, we'll see. In the end, beggars can't be choosers, right? I'd like to think this is a pretty solid patch, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. You think it's a good patch, bad patch? What would you like to see in the next patch for this game? As always, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to talk to me personally, feel free to join the Discord, and don't forget, I stream Tekken 8 with viewers every Tuesday. And that is gonna do it for me this video, so until next time, you'll see me later.